hey hi everyone welcome to the next gen i with sai welcome to the my youtube channel today we are going to see how to open dot ipvn by file i know that this is very uh, initial kind of video as of now i have uploaded the advanced or the intermediate level of video uh, but i feel that this is also very helpful if someone don't know how to open uh, ipvn by file it is a, you can say it's a python notebook file uh, so there are many ways okay but today we are going to see uh, the anaconda way and there are simpler way also which i can give the glimpse at the end of this video uh, one note please if you know how to open this ip1 by file in the anaconda or the jupyter notebook uh, don't watch this you can close it but if you don't know i would request please watch this video till end and please uh, share this knowledge with your friends and whoever is needing this okay so that motivates me okay thank you let's let's move ahead to the uh, the another point before jumping to the actual installations these are the different ways as i mentioned through anaconda second is the google collab so in the google advantage of this below 2 3.4 as compared to anaconda anaconda is a something it's a local installations uh, it requires it consumes your cpu and the gpu if you have in your machines and it will uh, consume uh, utilize your memory however google collab kaggle or any cloud based service provider you will use the cloud based instance so there is a very less overload on your local okay so i will also touch upon on the all, all other three however i don't have access to the azure aws and google so i cannot show you but if you guys have in your office you can just check the azure machine learning studio or aws SageMaker or the google studio there also these notebooks instance are running you can just upload notebook and you can open it however the kaggle is option is there you can log into the kaggle which is similar to the google collab you can just google it and uh, see uh, check uh, if you if you want me to make a video on kaggle please let me know i will make separate video on that okay now let's move to the uh, installations of anaconda and how to open this dot ipvn by file okay so let me first uh, exit from this presentation mode okay so i on my uh, machine uh, this anaconda is already installed okay so let me uninstall it so that i can show you from the scratch okay so i click on the uninstall options uh so here this window will come i'll click on next uninstall it okay so let's give a couple of minutes okay so as as you can see the uh, uninstallation is in progress so meanwhile let's let's download the uh, anaconda so i am going on google.com and just type anaconda okay anaconda download so once you go there is a www.anaconda.com you can go to the download um, anaconda distribution uh, then this will come uh, okay so let's say provide email to download uh, anaconda distribution so let me give the my email id is agree or i can say let's let's do the skip registration okay whether it's okay so you no need to do the registration you can skip it it's been a long time i haven't done this but i'm doing this now fresh in front of you so click on the download now here there are different installers available uh windows python 3.11 mac linux so whatever uh operating system you have please take the respective and install it uh, i have windows installed on my i think you can see it's automatically detected so i'll click on the download option so it is downloading uh, as you can see it is almost 904 uh, mb so it will take some time okay so and once once this done uh, we'll start the installation thank you as download is in progress so meanwhile let's check whether the uninstallation of previous anaconda version is completed or not so here let me see the window yeah so i think still it is uninstalling uh, we'll give some time for the uninstallation so as you can see the uninstallation has been completed uh, so let's click on the next and it's finished however this these steps is not required uh, if you machine 
you haven't had this anaconda install it is just i had done because we need to install the fresh uh, anaconda installation so i click on next and it's been finished so let me click on finish first i think the uninstallation is done let me just verify once is there any uninstallation click me on refresh button yes so there is no anaconda install here let me close this window now let's start the installation as we have already downloaded this anaconda from this website uh, if required i can give this uh, link on the description but it, it is possible as i mentioned earlier just do the google search it will available uh, now let me click on this uh, anaconda installer folder yep. so this will this window will open um, as you can see earlier i have 2021 anaconda one now it's a 2024 uh, 64 bit setup click on the next uh, so here are some license agreement just scroll down and say click uh, i agree okay now there are two options like uh, do you want to set up for yourself or the all users so i i'll go with the just for me because it just uh, i'm going to use this and i think this is same for everyone uh, so click on the next this is the default installation path where uh, it is going to install so now you can see the space required is 5 gb okay and the available space in my uh, machine is 98.5 gb so if you have less space than 5 gb please free up the space before you are trying to do the before you are trying installation so as i have enough space uh, i will click on the next option now there are some of the stuff uh, you can uh, keep it as it is the default things okay now by default anaconda 3 run on python 3.11 uh, if you don't have python install it otherwise uh, you can click on this now click on the install button it will take some time for the installation you can also click on the show details so you can see what are the libraries is getting installed so this will take some time for the installation so as you can see the download is completed let's click on the okay so this is very important first of all uh, i'm going to the next button it should be come as a done output folder is here my delete file so these are the some of the file has been deleted okay environment.txt this is the output folder you no need to worry about that but just make sure uh, just uh, note it down or you should be remember that this is where the your anaconda has been done the installation okay now let me click on the next button um i think everything you love about anaconda okay so no setup required get started so let's so as you can see it's a jupyter notebook anaconda let's click on next okay so if you select this option it will launch the anaconda navita and getting started with the anaconda distribution so i do not want to this let me click uh, on the launch anaconda navigator and click on the finish so let's take some moment uh, to launch this anaconda navigator now once you click on the anaconda navigator this window will open please note that uh, installation of anaconda and opening this might take time so just bear with it don't close anything otherwise installation will not be successful as you can see on the anaconda navigator um, there is a new version of anaconda okay no remind me later they, uh, so as you can see that there are multiple tools are available in the anaconda navigator uh, data spell toolbox uh, then anaconda cloud notebook cmd then pycharm is also available jupyter labels are available notebook is also available spider vs code and many things even the orange is also available uh, so many things are available and r studio is also available but we only looking for the um, jupyter notebook because that is something uh, which will be helpful to launch our notebook even you can use the jupyter lab as well uh, the difference between notebook and lab notebook only give the interface where you can open one notebook at a time jupyter lab is a something where you can have multiple files and you can play with the multiple files but let's concentrate on the jupyter notebook i'll click on the launch uh, now application not launch may have product produce error okay let me just click this so 
so guys uh, i fixed that error of exit code 1 uh, if you guys uh, uh, face same error uh, please let me know in the comment section i will provide you the solution now when i click on the launch option uh, it will take a minute or less than that uh, to open the uh, explorer okay notebook explorer uh, i'll show you uh, how it look like yeah so uh, meanwhile it is opening yeah it is open let me see uh, this is the something the window will open with the local host uh, the local host and this is the port where the notebook is running and this is something the free now these are the folders which is available uh, in your system uh, and from here there is a file option view option and the setting and the help okay so there are many options are available if you want to click if you want to work on the new notebook you can work you can open the terminal console and even the new folder okay so let's assume that uh, there is already a file is available with you a notebook file okay you can click on the upload option uh, once you upload the this will come and then um, this nlp uh, you know prelim so there is there is a some uh, notebook is available i click on the upload option somewhere it is already uh, op you can see in the explorer thing um, and then when you click double click on that the jupyter notebook will open okay uh, meanwhile uh, yeah okay fine so it's it's open there and now there are some block of code um, is there uh, you can you can run whole notebook at once but before that it is very important to connect to the kernel okay so let me see there is a run second Thing. this kernel is added let's say the, let's select the kernel which kernel we want or where the python will run so we'll select on that so earlier is idle now it is disconnected yes so let's let's try to run this first uh so so we will come to know what error we are getting okay so it will take some time so it's a uh, import nltk nltk download now see it is downloading the data so it means it's it's executing right okay it's, it's good it's, it's running great so this is uh, executed now let's run the uh, second block of code so we can see it is working or not yeah it's it's executing so this is the statement and it is uh, you know keeping into the lower lower case okay so we we are good with the jupyter notebook again let's go to here let me show you uh, you can also uh, see how we can open the new notebook so here's opening the new notebook yep great so we have to select the kernel selecting python 3 as my kernel and let's uh, run few simple python print command it's working working too fast pretty fast and this is something okay so this is about the jupyter notebook i i hope you understand how you can run uh, jupyter notebook and all uh, there is a one thing that you can also create your own environment so currently i am running the base environment but if you want you can create the new environment probably i can uh, show you in another video how you can create the virtual environment in the uh, jupyter node uh, in this anaconda and so what is environment it is something that a specific environment where you can install your specific library as per the project requirement so that your application run on uh, run those on those uh, specific uh, libraries okay so this is about the environment as i mentioned earlier this is a one way uh, the only advantage that you can execute all this thing on your local machine you don't require any internet connectivity but let's say uh, if you are looking to you know uh, you don't want to do all this thing okay and you want to execute this uh, uh, jupyter notebook so the something simpler method is available is the uh, google colab which is a freely available okay you just type this colab.research.google.com on your browser 
uh, it will take some time to load okay and then uh, here now there are many options like you can create the new notebook or if you have the your notebook in google drive you can just click on the google drive so as you can see there are many notebook i have already created then there is a github you can integrate the github here and then the there is option is upload now let's say uh, let's go through the upload option okay so once you click on the upload i'll, I'll select the same file uh, and uh, yeah it's it will take a minute or less than that uh, to upload now it's uploaded the loading is going on it's there now the first and the foremost i can see the same notebook file uh, i'm having here the first more was important you have to connect to the kernel okay so now there are option many options available when you click on the connect it will connect it to the default kernel uh, so that uh, similarly like we have in locally right local python kernel similarly it also connecting in the host where this notebook is going to run and everything is hosted on the cloud uh before now it's connected uh, let me uh, run this so you can click on this run option uh, so it will run the uh, this block of code one of the most important thing that i want to show you that uh, you can change this run time so if you are working on any very complex uh, machine uh, data science project like uh, nlp or any uh, or maybe if you are working on the training part okay then you can select the gpu because gpu is something which is uh, good for the training and the very high complex data or image classification kind of data okay so you can connect the t4 gpu and click on the save even if you want something uh, google is offering called tpu you can select that as well based on your use case so one uh, one thing advantage you don't really require to have gpu on machine you can use the google gpu if you really working on any kind of fine tuning or pre-training of the uh, model okay so i hope now you understand how you can execute the uh, notebook on google uh, colab as well okay so so that's all from my side i hope you understand uh, how to open or how to run any notebook file locally through anaconda or through the google collab if you have any question please feel free to uh, drop a uh, drop your message on comment section see you soon